Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashton Leather. I wanted to give you a look at some of the stuff that you ordered over the last few days. And I like to show all the wallets every day we can because I think it's kind of fun to uh, see what you just ordered before you get it. All right, up first today, this is a 100% English Tan Dublin Giant the Fox. And this is one of my favorite leathers. I just love this sort of light tan orangey shade. I think it's really beautiful. And on the Dublin leather, the tannage from Horween called Dublin has this really incredible natural character. It's very much an aniline finished leather. So for me, on something like the English tan, it almost looks more of like a piece of wood, which is really cool. And it actually, in fact, is partially wood because it's been tanned with different tree barks. And I started wearing this John of the Fox a hundred days ago. This was the first one of the batch and I wanted to see how it wore in. So now it's been a hundred days of me wearing this John of the Fox. And take a look at the luster here. It's almost like there's a new face to this leather. It's much more glassy and polished. And I haven't done anything to this. I haven't brushed it. I haven't applied any sort of polish to the leather. This is just how it wants to wear in. And it's very bright and shiny now. I really like that look. And again, the depth of color has also changed. Let me give you another little look at before and after here. So brand new on the left, this is a 100% English tan fox that is shipping out today and here's the one after a hundred days I think the one on the left is actually a little bit lighter than some of the other English tans I've seen so this might not be an accurate representation of how dark it gets but it, it, it will give you a sense of how much darker the English tan wears the other fun thing that I've been wearing and I've been really into the English tan Dublin is I've started wearing this English tan Dublin Apple watch band and this was actually made, I was doing this as a trial because I was curious to see what the belt weight Dublin would look like on a watch band. And I'm pretty happy with it. I got to be honest, I have a lot of people that are commenting about this extra thick strap and people seem to like it. I find that it might just be a little too thick. I mean, maybe it's a personal preference thing, but I think more of like a six ounce strap would be more appropriate. Uh, but it does look pretty cool being extra thick and unlined. I've been wearing this one for maybe three weeks now. And this is also developing a really nice patina. I actually had some people comment about these keepers here. Somebody thought this was a shell strap. Uh, but no, that's just the way that Dublin wears in. It gets a really nice bright shiny look. Let me give you a look at this English tan Dublin Tony the Ant. We have another one of these going out today. Really beautiful grain character on this. It's like a golden yellowy orange color and some angles it looks a little bit more brown and red but i love that natural character and speaking of natural character there's this one other leather this is the natural lancaster and i wanted to show you this one because this is the last one that we might ever make on the giant the fox and the, the natural lancaster is the lightest color leather that horween makes it's almost like a white a little bit of yellow in it but the grain character on this is insane and I've never had these a close-up camera like this before so finally be able to give you a chance to see just how grainy the natural Lancaster is if it picks it up very intense grain on this so I wore a fat Herbie which is this wallet here in that natural Lancaster for a few months and this is how it develops and it's tough for me to show this one sometimes because it it's such a light color that the light sort of blends into the leather. But the way that the natural Lancaster wears in is really interesting. You can see the luster is quite a bit different. Similarly to how the Dublin ages, where you get a little bit more of that glassy surface. But what's also really neat about the Lancaster is almost like the grain is it's sort of like popping out. Like the more this one gets worn, the more pronounced that grain becomes. It's like it gets highlighted a little bit, the grain. So here's what it looks like after being worn a bit, getting a little bit of polish. And here's the brand new. It's much more dull, a lot less bright and shiny, a little bit less grain character. So I thought that was really interesting to see how the natural Lancaster develops. Let me show you another wallet here. This is Whiskey Shell Cordovan on the Bugs Moran. 
and take a look here at that really bright shiny luster that is incredibly mirror like this is a really nice piece of shell here and that rare whiskey color more whiskey shell cordovan on the inside and sometimes i feel like the natural chrome excel looks similar to the whiskey shell and here's a piece of natural chrome excel maybe i'm just referring to the color but see here it's sort of like a neutral brown like pretty light and very nice but sometimes i feel like the whiskey is a little bit similar. You can see obviously a little bit more orange in the whiskey shell, but either way, the natural chrome excel is one of the most popular leathers that we do, and definitely the most popular chrome excel color in the world. Earlier this week, I did a video comparing that natural chrome excel here to the natural shell cordovan, which is this. Take a look at that natural shell. That is very, very nice. Super smooth, bright and shiny, really great color. I like the natural shell because it has a little bit of life to it. It's not as dead as some other veg tan natural colors, but that's a really beautiful John of the Fox there. I love the way the light hits all the shells. And let me give you a look at the interior here. This is a color eight reverse interior on this John of the Fox. And I love to see all these bits of random dye marks. And what's interesting about the reverse shell is there's actually some grain to it. So if you look closely, you can see little bits of the detail in the grain character, as well as all those die marks. That's a really beautiful giant of the fox. And here's another one. This one has been personalized for DCF. And this is my second favorite shell color for many years, for about a decade. This was my favorite shell cordovan color. This is the color number four. And color four is a medium brown with red undertones to it. And this one has a really interesting color shift. So some angles, it looks a little bit darker. You might imagine it more like a color eight at certain angles and other angles, more of those like caramel, orangey tan shades come out, which is really interesting. And I hope I'm able to show that here. It's more of like a medium brown at some angles and darker brown at others. This one had a really great color, color shift, but also the whiskey shell. I was observing this earlier. These card slots, some angles, they don't even look whiskey. Uh, just the way that the color changes on this one, I thought was really fascinating. Let's see if I can demo that. See how dark this slot is here and how light that is when you spin it to the other way. Now they're the same. <laughs> I think that's really cool. And let's shift over here to this other pair of jeans. Uh, you can see the outline of the Fat Herbie I wore on these 316s. Again, check out Mild Blend uh, if you're ever in Chicago. They're in Wicker Park. And uh, like I said, they have the most denim that I've ever seen. And I actually have to bring these two pair back to him to get them repaired. Uh, so let's take a look here. These key cases. This is a natural Chrome Excel key case. And that one is going out today. Again, that most popular Chrome Excel color. Really nice ivory shade. And again, we get a chance to compare the natural shell to the natural chrome excel. And here's a natural shell cordovan key fob, which looks really nice. I think this one is being shipped with the natural shell giant the fox. So that would be a great pairing. And the other key case that we got going out today, this is a black Dublin Lexington key case. Take a look at the grain on this guy. That's just incredibly intense. And we've been doing these Lexingtons now with no stitching around the outside. And that's because it, I like it a little bit better. I think it's more sleek. Um, and the way that the keys mold inside this without the stitching, I think looks a little bit more interesting. And then we have two one-shot card cases. This is the last one on the Slate Blue Vintage. And some people asked me, what is vintage? Uh, that's actually the leather tannage. That's what Horween calls this product. And vintage is kind of similar to the Dublin, but it's much less grainy and has much more of a silky feel to it. And on the slate blue vintage here, you get a little nice burst of blue color coming from underneath. That is really cool. And the last wallet today, this is a one-shot card case in the baseball glove leather. And this is, this is the actual leather that Rawlings makes the baseball gloves out of. And there's something magical in this leather apparently that a lot of professional catchers choose this specific leather 
because it sounds different when the ball hits uh, hits it into the mitt. And I guess what the, the idea is that you want to scare the batter a little bit, uh, and that more threatening sound um, makes the pitcher sound a little bit more intimidating. So catchers prefer, or a lot of catchers prefer, this Horween leather baseball glove for making the catcher's mitts. And this one we made in with a little bit of a red stitch. I thought that sort of tied in the baseball idea. I'm gonna try to make a nice little montage video. Maybe I can try to do a time lapse to show how it's worn in, but it really takes everything I throw at it. It sort of absorbs all the scuffs and scratches. And let me pull mine out here again, because I haven't polished this at all. It's just gotten bright and shiny just from me wearing it. So all the veg tan leathers that Horween does is really special for patina. Uh, so if you picked one of these up, in fact, whoever picked one of these up, I can't wait for you to experience the same thing I did. So hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, I hope you have a good one and take care.